Good day, human audio sites. This is Ladio Suzuru, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Emerald Skylock. Here we are in Rustboro City, and we are going to be taking on this here gym with the leader, Roxanne. Now, there are a few gym trainers we're probably going to want to battle. So, you know what? Let's battle them, because why not? So, don't take these gym trainers lightly. I think I will consider my options. Now that Geodude, I I know that Absorb has... I don't know, actually it's level 10. I know Absorb has a low power, a low base power, but it's quad weakness, I can't imagine it living that. And a crit! That's a dead Geodude! <laughs> wow, okay, nice job, Ted. <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> That's pretty good. And Ted learned Quick Attack, which is nice, because now we have a priority move, just in case we need it. Which, I know Ted has a pretty good speed, but you never know. Okay. Now, this is a little dangerous, because it's a rock gym and all, but I'm going to let Barney actually have a little bit of time with battle. Now, since Barney does in fact have the Quick Claw... We should be able to... There's a chance we can outspeed. I don't know. These are rock-type Pokemon, keep in mind. So we'll see what we can do with that Geodude. Now, I don't know how much a Water Gun is going to do here, but... It's only level 8, so we do have a chance of being able to get... No, not quite. Alright. Crit would have been nice. Mud Sport. That's going to lower electricity power, but that doesn't really matter, because why would I use electricity anyway? This is a this is a rock gym. Most of which po mo most of those Pokemon happen to be ground type as well. Why would I use an electric type Pokemon here? This isn't like Ash Gray where ground where electric's just not very effective on ground. <laughs> All right, we're level six, and another Geodude coming my way. That is fine with me. So, Barney, you can go for that water gun. That should take it out easily. Those two levels make that big a difference. <laughs> I don't know how much of a difference it really makes over in the big picture, but you know what? That is fine. And we learned Supersonic, which is really good, except for it has a very horrible accuracy. But you know what? You take what you can get. Take what you can get. So... Now, I know later on we're going to be able to get what is it? I think we can get... There's a chance we can get a Skarmory. On, what is it, Route 113, I want to say? The only thing is... We won't be getting a Skarmory if we find a Coughing first. So we're either going to be getting... Because I think that's the only place you can get a Coughing, too. So, the... We're going to be either getting, later on at 113, either nothing, or a Skarmory or a Coughing. I think. I don't know what else is there. I know there's Spinda there, but we obviously can't get that. I think there's... what is it? For some reason, I want to say Slugma. I don't know. Alright, but... Barney, you're doing a good job here so far. Question is, do you want to handle the gym leader? <laughs> Who do we want handling this gym leader? That's the big ultimate question. Ultimately, I think I want Ted handling it, only because... I know that Nose Pass is coming, I know it's going to be strong, and I know it's going to be packing a Rock Tomb. And that's super effective on Wingle, so I think Barney should probably but um sit that one out. But the Geo Dude, it'll give experience to Ted, which will help with the Nose Pass. So I'm gonna stick with this. Hello, I am Roxanne, the Rustboro Pokemon Gym Leader. I became a gym leader so that I might apply what I learned at the Pokemon Trainer School in battle. Would you kindly demonstrate how ba um, how you battle with your with which Pokemon? 
Uh, apparently, I'm only using flying type Pokemon and my starter. So, yes, you're obviously starting with the Geo Dude. I forgot what I I know you have another po. I know you usually in Ruby and Sapphire you have a Geo Dude and a Nose Pass. Here you have a third Pokemon. I don't remember what it is. Technically, I think it's your second Pokemon. Your third one is still going to be the Nose Pass. No way Geodude survives that um, absorb even with that level boost, which, let's be honest, oh, that level on top of Ted. Now Ted level. Well, okay, you have another Geodude. I'm actually gonna let Ted handle this. I would have gone into Barney to handle it, just for the experience, but the thing is, I feel like the experience we're gonna get from this Geodude might actually help with facing that Nose Pass. <clears throat> the Nose Pass does scare me. Okay. Alright, so next is Nose Pass. Ted, can you handle this? Here we go. It's level 15. We're faster. Oh, clearly. It's, it's a rock type. That's not doing anything to that thing. We're not doing anything to it. That's. And he's, hard, he's hardening up, which is okay with me because this is a special move, not a. I think it's special. I don't... I don't know anything... I really don't... Okay, we got a crit. That's... Partially irrelevant. <laughs> He's going for that rock tomb. He's gonna slow us down. Oh, oh my god, that did damage. Alright, she's gonna go for the potion. Unless... I believe that's a citrus berry. No, it's an orange berry. She's going for the potion. I figured as much. Can we get another crit? I think she only has one potion, but I'm not sure. Okay, we got another crit! That is that is really good, Ted. Coming through. And we get some health back because of the absorb. Are you kidding me? She has another potion. You gotta be kidding me. Ted, please continue to get crits here, because this is the only way we're gonna end up winning this battle. <laughs> now, the good thing is... We're now back at full health, and she used up her um, her potions. She's using a block, so now we can't switch out Ted. Although I can't really imagine why we would, since all of our Pokémon are weak to rock. <laughs> I mean, no Pokémon we have wants to take a rock place. It's a it's a Skylock. Let's be honest. All right, she's gonna go a tackle. That does not make any sense. Why would you not go for another rock tomb? I mean, the smartest move she could make is a Rock Tomb. I'm just going for an Absorb in case she has another potion. That Absorb will take out the Nose Pass, and that is GG to Roxanne. But that was a little bit more difficult than I hoped it would be. Although, all things considered, what do you expect from, a, from Roxanne's Nose Pass? So, we defeated Roxanne. Actually, it wasn't more difficult than I expected, it was just more difficult than I hoped it would be. The Pokemon League's rules state the trainers are to be given this if they defeat the gym leader. Please accept the official Pokemon League Stone Badge. Alright, so we got 1500 Pokemon Dollars and the Stone Badge from Roxanne. Which is good for letting Pokemon that are traded, I think, like up to level... I forgot what level. Is it 20 or 30 or something like that? Obey. Gives us Rock Tomb. Okay. It also, I think we can use. What is it? Can we use. Is it Cut or Flash? I think we can use Cut outside of battle. Which is fine. I'm never gonna use Flash anyway. Get out! Out of the way! Oh, great. Wait, please, don't take the goods! Okay, someone took the goods, apparently. That makes sense. Now, I'm gonna go get cut. It doesn't make too, too big of a difference, because I don't think we need it in these games. 
Now, I think it's stronger than Tackle, but the thing is, I don't know if I'm going to want Tackle forever anyway, so I'm actually going to not use Cut for now. I don't know if anyone else on our team other than Ted can learn it, but I'm just going to hold off for now with teaching with using Cut. I'm going to try to avoid using HMs for now, because I don't know when I'm ever go if and when I'm ever going to need Cut in this game. I don't think I will. Okay, so. If we can avoid battling this guy, that would be nice. Otherwise, uh, we can go for Absorb and whatever he has. Also, I believe we can get an encounter here, except we're going to battle this here girl. So, here we go, Miss I Study at School. She, alright, School Kid Karen, she has a sh oh, great. Just great. Okay. Now I can't go for a, um, a an absorb because I just can't. So she's gonna go for the tackle. That is that is really not good. Shroomish is a problem. And the absorb won't be doing too much to us, I don't think. But and that was a crit. Huh. If we can get a crit to return the favor, that would be nice, but apparently- I'm guessing it'll do two damage to us then, or one if- you, So that's not gonna heal anything back on the- eh, it healed one HP back on the Shroomish. Hmm. If we find a wild Pokemon, maybe I can use an Absorb on that to get some health back. What has a horrible, horrible defense, but a lot of HP? Or sorry, special defense, but a lot of HP. I think that guy's probably gonna have a Geodude. Okay, and we get an Inkata. That is really good, actually. Now the problem is, I don't want to beat it since we're double its level. I'm just gonna throw a Pokeball at it and just hope. <laughs> If it doesn't work, then I don't know what I'm going to do. So everything I have is either super effective or... Yeah, this is a problem. Don't go for a bug move, please. Scratch, okay. I'm going to throw another poke... I'm going to throw a few Pokeballs at it. Stay in the Pokeball! Oh my gosh! Okay, you know what? I don't know what I'm... Alright, he's hardening up. Which... Does more, which does less? Tackle or... Tackle or Quick Attack? They do the same. Peck will kill it. Water Gun will probably kill it. Why do I keep on saying Tackle? I mean Pound. Alright, let's go for a Pound. Hopefully we don't kill it. Okay, no, with its hard and- but it's going for the Leech Life, which is super effective on us. So that's actually a problem. I'm gonna go into Barney, then. Huh. Assuming it goes for a Leech Life again, which I'm thinking it will, it won't be very effective. So we can go probably for a water gun. I have a bad feeling this is going to kill it, but... I could go for the supersonic, but that's a little bit... Okay, good, good, good. That brings its HP all the way down into the deep yellow, so not going for another Pokeball. Stay in that Pokeball, you Ninkata. Or Ninkata, sorry. I'm guessing it's Ninkata, because I think this would be like a Cicada. Alright. So, we got a Ninkata. I don't even know what to name you. Hey, you're Speedy. It's nice to meet you, Speedy. Or nice to have you on the team, I suppose. Alright. 
This guy, I think, should have, in theory, a Geodude, I want to say. Please have a Geodude. That would, I would be oh so grateful. Okay, good. Geodude's probably going to be slower than Ted, so Ted can get the Absorb Down, which will probably do a lot of damage and get a lot of health back. Because it'll probably get the KO, which will heal up Ted. Not too, too much, but you know what? It's better than nothing. Now, if we can avoid battling the other guy, that would be nice. Can you turn around? Okay, thank you. Now we'll battle this guy. He should also have a Geodude, if I'm correct. Two Geodudes, that's nice. In this particular case, I'm hoping to find Geodudes because... Geodude doesn't have the best special defense in the world, but it does have a quad weakness to grass. So... Problem is, we're gonna run out of, um... Absorb. So I'm actually gonna go into Barney. So, alright, let's go for the water gun. We'll definitely be faster. Plus, we have the quick claw, so the most that you could possibly do if I have horrible speed and it has great speed, well, IVs that is, then it could probably be a speed tie. I don't even know if it's even possible for them to do a speed tie there. But, I do have a quick claw, so I would win the speed tie. Alright, let's get this item. X special, but it's, it's not horrible, but it's not really useful. The thing I don't like about these items is you're taking a turn when you could actually do damage to use the item. I don't usually... I don't usually like setting up during a, um, during a game battle. It's one thing if you're competitive battling. That's a whole... that's a different story. Now, we're not gonna... we're gonna find a bunch of Wismer in here, but it doesn't really matter because we can't catch any because... Well, Drid and Explode are... Although they're... although Explode is a fairly decent competitive Pokémon, it does not have levitate, and it does not fly. And the encounter ratio is horrible in here. So unless we find unless we find a shiny Wismer, we're not gonna get anything. I believe shiny claws is still a thing. So who knows? Great, another Wismer. There are so many of these, oh my gosh. Alright. Give Mr. Briny back his Pico. Come on, man. That's just wrong, kidnapping Pico. Along with uh, holding Pico hostage, along with the Devon or Devon goods or whatever the heck they are. Okay, so you got Poochiana level 18. That somewhat scares me. Somewhat. Go for a pound. You're gonna howl, which is going to raise your physical attack, which kind of scares me. But if I can get the free hit knockout here or a crit. Alright, you're going for that sand attack. I'm gonna go for the absorb. That should still be enough to take it out. Okay, good. And I'll get a little bit of health back, probably. Yeah, okay. Not too much, but a little bit. And I'll get a nice amount of experience. So take it level 15. Okay, your career in crime. At least you admit that it's crime. That it's not right. That it's wrong. So, yeah, okay. Fine, I'll take those divine goods if it'll... Whatever. I'll give them back. Uh, okay. Alright, Mr. Briny and Pico. Happy to have helped. Not too concerned about the Devon goods, that's just a big corporation. I don't care too much about that. I just I can't see them um, stand to see uh 
guy have his little Pokemon taken from him, especially a little Wingle. Gotta love Pico. <laughs> Alright, now, we're gonna have to... Huh. I think we can actually avoid battling this guy if we just go right, like, there. Now, I know it's, like, practic- Okay, now we're gonna battle this guy, though. I know it's practically just asking for a battle with him later on when we come back here, but by then it won't be relevant because he'll have, like, nothing to- Okay, he has a mimic chop. I'm a little bit afraid because I know he's gonna go for a focus energy, then probably something that will hit hard. Yeah, he's gonna. He, he's going for the crit. <laughs> if we can get another absorb down, if it'll get rid of that Machop, that would be nice. Now, I know there's a rival battle in Rustboro. But I think I'm gonna actually skip it because it's good for training, but it's also risky. I don't feel like losing any of our Pokemon. And once again, I know we can use the Pokemart here, but I'm actually gonna pass on using it for now. I don't know if I'm allowed to... I don't know if I'm allowed to come back and use it later on instead of using it now because I can only use each mark once. But the thing is, I don't have enough money to get anything good. Or to get in as much as I would need. It wouldn't be worth it to use, any, to use my money now. So let's go meet El Presidente. Please, go ahead. I'm Mr. Stone, the president of, Div of Divine Corporation. I just got word about you. You saved our staff, not just once, but twice. I have a favor to ask of an amazing person like you. I understand that you're delivering a package to Slateport's shipyard. But on the way, could you stop off in Duford Town? I was hoping that you'd deliver a letter to Stephen in Duford. Sure, I would be happy to deliver all your stuff, because I guess I'm just your servant, that you don't have to even pay. I know you pay all these people to work for you, but you're not gonna pay me to do this, you're just gonna give me this little Pokenav. I already know the whole and regenerate a map of it. You're gonna give me this match call thing, which all it's gonna do is make- is all it's gonna end up doing is having people randomly call me. Hey, okay, you healed my Pokemon, that is- that is perfectly fine now. Maybe I will battle May then. Now, if May has a Torchic, the thing is, I don't know if I want to risk. I don't know if I want to run the risk of. Hmm. I've been developing an added feature for the Pokemon. Okay, so the match call. Okay. Why do you just do that when I was passing you when I was walking out of here? Fine, so I have to call El Presidente, don't I? Fine. Uh, I don't even know why I clicked on the trainer card. Okay. Good day, El Presidente. Blah, blah, blah. You can see me from the roof. That's or the, from the, the top. That's at your window. Okay. That is nice. So, we don't have any money, I don't think. We have 37.44, but we don't have enough to get to... If we had 4,000, I would consider going to the Pokemart and just getting, like, getting 20 Pokeballs and 2 Premier Balls, but for now, I think we can get, like, a free Premier Ball in here. this kid gives us one or something like that. Your dad's working with Divine Corporation, and we got a- yeah, we got a Premier Ball. Alright. And I believe that's, like, all well, that's really gonna be helpful here, I think, or something like that. So it's not the most useful item in the world, but it's a cool item, and it's something that- it's the Pokeball, but it's free. 
So, free stuff, you can't go wrong with free stuff. So... Perfectly suited nicknames. Originality. Huh. So... By giving the name Pikachu to Pikachu, Pikachu it seems pointless. <laughs> Pikachu with an E, that's funny. That is really funny. Okay, so I guess next time we're gonna head down to Doofburg Town to deliver that letter to Steven, and then battle Brawly. Or the other way around, whichever I feel like doing. So, thank you for watching. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. Goodbye.